teaching style of the staff and faculty and professors here, I think was really great, forcing you to collaborate, work in teams, and uh, kind of think creatively and more in terms of a full business process in terms of instead of just hard technical skills all day every day. All the classes, you know, they talk about condensers, and that's what I mainly work on here for, at Graham, and you know, it definitely helped the background to get you know, the knowledge of what I need today. I mean, some of the various classes I took, most the engineering classes in general, uh, just the problem solving, the open-ended questions without a, you know, there's no exact answer a lot of the time. Um, and most everything you work on now, there's no right or wrong answer, it's just finding the best solution to a problem. During my time here, somebody once told me that uh, when it comes to management, um, you never manage people, you manage processes, and that's something that I use now. I've been with Schneider Electric for two years. I now manage the uh, business development team. It's a small group, and uh, we focus on generating new business for Schneider Electric. We work out of West Kingston, Rhode Island, and um, that's something that I definitely use every day. A lot of the freshman level classes, the uh, fundamental concepts held out quite a bit. And then a lot of the uh, mechanical engineering classes, the upper level mechanical engineering classes helped out, like uh, mechanics and machine elements and classes like that. The whole Clarkson experience to me was a bigger part of it. I was on the solar car team when I was here. I was on the Indy car team when I was here. I was also on the cross country running team and the ski team and a captain of both of those by the time I graduated. And so you develop a lot of leadership skills and team building skills and working together with like when you're on the Indy team, I'm a chemical engineer working with mostly mechanical engineers. On the solar car team, I was working with electrical engineers. You learn that cross-training, that being able to communicate with groups outside of what you know, and that's been hugely beneficial for me in my career. The company I'm at right now was a, a Clarkson connection, so I made the move uh, post-grad uh, into to IBM. I uh, made the move, in, move into Coupa uh, with a, one of the connections I made at Clarkson, so it's, uh, it's definitely impacted me in that my, my move to this company was a, a Clarkson connection, but as far as you know, skill set, you know, skills from the program, I'd say right that ability to uh, to to have a lot of uh, plates spinning at the same time, right? To prioritize, you know, it's uh, it's assignments in the MBA program, but you know now it's uh, it's client obligations, customer obligations, and knowing what to uh, what to prioritize uh, and what to be accountable for. Um, you know, we had a it was very, certainly a, a challenging year, but it's. Uh, it was good preparation because it, uh, it, it stays challenging post-graduation in a good way. There's a couple things. There's sort of the tangible and less tangible. I think the thing that employers are most impressed with with Clarkson students is that is their work ethic. And that impressed uh, a lot of people at my job as soon as I started. You know, I learned a lot of technical details from my classes and that helps me understand the design of equipment and things like that. Clarkson's sort of the underdog, you know, but, but the programs here are excellent and it's starting to get recognition.